Michigan has numerous players that are going to hear their names called in April at the 2024 NFL Draft. When watching the college football playoff semifinals on Monday, I was not sure which two players on Michigan I was going to do had they won the game. I did Zach Zinter on Thursday, but the second one was really tough for me to figure out. Until the final drive, when wide receiver Roman Wilson put on an incredible performance catching the go-ahead touchdown and having an incredible grab on that drive, and today, I'm going to be doing a deep dive on the Wolverines wide receiver. A player who was in my runner-ups till the final drive, today we get to talk about him. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I have done a bunch of these prospect spotlights over the last couple of weeks. Consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you are new, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Wilson did not have the most elite numbers in 2022. He had some decent moments, but he wasn't a guy many were expecting to come into 2023 and have the impact that he had. In 2022, Wilson had 25 receptions for 376 yards and 4 touchdowns on the year, which are good numbers, but not great. In 2023, Wilson has been better at nearly everything, doubling his total in a lot of his categories. He has 45 receptions, 735 yards, and 5 touchdowns for the Wolverine, and has become the top wide receiver on this Michigan team, and he's been a great piece for their offense. Wilson is a pretty solid route runner. He has quick feet, and he sells his routes perfectly, faking one way, and he is able to package a lot of moves together to turn it into a play. He has shown some really nice shiftiness and route running ability and is a, a ways to get separation, which is something I'm a big fan of. Wilson also has excellent speed. He is probably going to run in the 4-4s and he has shown some really nice speed in the open field. A lot of times, Michigan will just send him over the top and he is able to outrun the secondary and get open deep and he has some nice plays on screens and other plays behind the line of scrimmage where he can turn them into big yardage gains due to his speed. I think his speed is one of the biggest and most defining parts of his game and is going to be a big selling point for a lot of NFL teams. The last thing that really stands out to me with Wilson is his hands. Wilson has some incredible hands and he has pulled in some incredible grabs with defenders draped over him. His helmet catch against Nebraska earlier this year was absolutely fantastic but even on the final drive in the college football playoff semifinals, Wilson had an incredible catch to keep the chains moving and keep Michigan alive in this game. Wilson has some really good hands, speed, and route running, which are all great things for a receiver to have. Wilson is really small for the position, in my opinion. He is 6 foot, 192 pounds, and he genuinely looks smaller than that on the field. He is slim in terms of his frame, and he isn't the tallest player in the world either. That is the first thing that does slightly worry me when it comes to Roman Wilson. Another area of his I am not in love with is his physicality. While he does have some nice contested catches on occasion, he is a guy who really struggles against stronger and more physical corners. He really struggles to gain separation and press man coverage, and this is something I noticed on repeat. If there was a stronger corner that was guarding him in press, he wasn't really able to get the separation necessary to make a play. That's something that is definitely going to have to improve for him at the next level, or he's not going to be very impactful in the NFL. Lastly, Roman Wilson provides next to nothing as a blocker. He is kind of a liability, and he can't hold his blocks, and he just gets run over a lot of times, and that's another area that's going to need to improve. Roman Wilson, nevertheless, is a nice player. He has some awesome hands, but this is an incredibly deep wide receiver class. He is not going to be selected super high in the draft because there are a lot of players at the position who I think are just better. Wilson is my wide receiver 19. I know that sounds low, but this class is so deep and he still has a lot of value. The lack of physicality and question marks around size does move him down my board a bit. He is my number 106 player in the class. Wilson is best utilized as a slot wide receiver in motion. That is the way Michigan was able to get him the ball in space a lot of times. 
they would bring him inside in motion from the outside and have him run his route back to the outside in the weak spot of the zones. This is where he has thrived best, and since it worked for him before, I'm not going to mess with it. I think a team that is going to use a lot of pre-snap motions is exactly where Roman Wilson would fit best at the NFL level. Roman Wilson reminded me of a faster version of Christian Kirk, a slot receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars who is a very sharp route runner, has reliable hands, and is a guy who can be used in a variety of ways, and we have seen that through Kirk's career. I think Wilson can be a similar type of player to Kirk, just with a little bit more speed. I think he is going to run a little bit better than Kirk's 447. I think if you can be a faster version of Christian Kirk, you're going to be a really good wide receiver for quite a while. How often do you guys think about Roman Wilson? For me, well, you get the joke. Wilson is a fun player who I think can be used in a lot of different ways. Ultimately, in a deep wide receiver class, he may slip a bit, but I think Roman Wilson is going to be a day three pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.